Hello, recently I installed the Metagrid app for controlling Cubase and other computer software. It took me some time to discover how to get the Cubase Project Logical Editor scene presets to work. In this short tutorial I'll show the installation process and demonstrate this great tool for track visibility management in a large orchestral project template. First you need to download the Metagrid components, buy and install the iOS app from the Apple App Store. Go to the Metasystem website and download the Meta Server, the communication bridge between the iOS app and computer software applications. Then get the documentation and the app specific content. Unzipping yields a set of Metasystem XML files for Cubase. The diagram at the top shows which steps take place on the tablet controller device versus the DAW computer. The readme file describes which files contain the Cubase main commands and where you will find the presets for the two logical editors, including the track visibility presets. These must be moved or copied to the right place in the Cubase folder structure. The preset installation process is described in the corresponding Metagrid manual on pages 7 to 10. There are also links to a set of relevant videos. And this is where I made the mistake of following the 2018 Logical Editor installation instruction video without carefully reading the manual. A YouTube search led me to this Luke Johnson video, where the preset macro design process is illustrated. He later donated his work to Metasystem for use in Metagrid. This is what I learned from the video. In the Cubase Studio setup you add a generic remote device. Import the first Metasystem XML file for that device and press apply. Then one repeats the procedure for the second generic device. These steps will enable you to use the core Cubase commands and the logical editor presets in Metagrid. Following the steps in the video, the project logical editor scene presets did not work, although I created my first Metagrid view on the iPad and that confirmed that everything else was working smoothly. Note that Metagrid already contains several factory views for controlling Cubase. I needed the PLE visibility scenes and thus started struggling for several hours to identify what caused the problem. I again watched the Luke Johnson video search forums, I then understood that he kindly donated his work to Metasystem later in 2018 or 2019. So I reread the manual more carefully, plus I inspected the contents of the two macro XML files that I had not used yet. And then the lights went on. In the Cubase Studio setup, all I needed to do was Add another generic remote device as written in the manual, this time import macros file and press apply. By now, after inspecting the XML file content, I had developed a minimum level of understanding of the structure of this window, with the Metagrid controller macro list at the top and the activation of the corresponding PLE scene presets in the lower half. After a few minutes all was well and I could move on and start to edit and use the track visibility presets. The Cubase Project Logical Editor now contains a Metagrid category with 116 empty scene presets. Opening one of the scenes shows the default target filter setting, where one must replace the Your Folder string with an appropriate folder name. The action then is to make the tracks in that folder visible. Over on the iOS device, the list of button actions includes the hundreds of Cubase commands plus the Metagrid macros and PLE scene presets. With these I developed a track visibility view with about 40 preset buttons for an orchestral template with over 600 tracks, divided into instrument groups and specific sample libraries. Here's the button for opening the woodwinds group, with the sequence of 5 actions as described in the manual. It activates scene number 2, where I replaced the default name with the woodwinds folder label. This is another example, calling scene number 51 that opens the Cubase tempo, signature and marker track. The target filter is somewhat more complicated and includes a number of nested boolean statements, the result of another online forum search. The 600 plus Cubase template that I'm currently developing loads with all instrument track folders closed. This template connects to multiple instances in Vienna Ensemble Pro, with audio returns to the Cubase mixer. 
when I press the Audio Modeling Woodwinds Group button in the top left of this Metagrid view, the folder with the same name opens and unfolds its tracks in Cubase. In summary, before I could use the very powerful track visibility presets in Cubase, I wasted too much time investigating their failure to work properly on my system. All this was due to my skipping carefully studying the manual. So I created this video to illustrate correct steps and help you installing these presets in minutes. Thus far I've been most impressed by the Metagrid app specific content for Cubase. It is very powerful and will be a great time saver in case of large project templates. This channel is mostly about music composing and arranging techniques. Subscribe if you're interested in that type of shared content. These are free videos, but I do welcome PayPal donations in support of my tutorial production efforts. There's a link in the description and you may visit the website for documents and ebooks. Thanks for watching.